Sometimes timing your attacks is too hard, sometimes you just want to sit back and relax and hunt some dragons and dinosaurs without having to worry about wind-ups and cooldowns on attacks. And sometimes you're a filthy casual who can't put in the time to learn mechanics, so you pick the least punishing weapon, you plebeian. Welcome to a crap guide to Monster Hunter. Dual wielding in the real world is impractical unless you're an extremely skilled fighter, so don't flatter yourself if that's the reason you pick the dual blades because they require zero skill in this game. All you ever have to do is button mash, and the cooldowns of each attack is so short, getting out of the way is no problem, there's no need to anticipate the monster's moves at all, just mash accordingly and hit dodge, it's just like playing Assassin's Creed. But hold on to your black eyeliner and better practice that intimidating stare, because by pressing R2 you go into DEMON, Demon MODE! where you start running around like Naruto. And in this mode, you can button mash extra hard, but be careful though, because in this mode, you start to lose stamina rapidly. And if you use it too liberally, you'll last about as long as a nerdy college virgin. Attacks in this mode fill up a gauge similar to the longsword. Hell, I guess weeb weapons tend to have a lot in common. And while the gauge is filled, you have access to some of the damage and attacks of demon mode while you're recovering stamina. Most of your hunts will probably consist of you desperately attempting to recreate the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate trailer. Because damn it, it's in the game now, and it's so satisfying to pull off, you keep trying and trying to get that perfect jumping attack. And then your family gets concerned asking you if you're back on dash juice. The dual blades are puny weapons that have among the lowest damage per hit, but fortunately they hit frequently, which allows you to take advantage of monster's elemental weaknesses. Except you won't do it nearly as well as a sword and shield as the dual blades are inferior in every way. I mean seriously, you can't even use items while it's unsheathed, and you have to rely on a temporary buff to deal decent damage, which is the most nonsensical thing. Why should you rely on a temporary buff to make yourself viable? I'm looking at you, hunting horn. On a totally unrelated note, Capcom, why didn't you keep oils for the sword and shield? Do you hate sword and shield or something? Anyway, now you know how to use dual blades. You're welcome.